before we get started, can we just get into this tea with Rob and Black China, baby? Comment in the comment section who team you on because I was real petty all yesterday going on with this situation. Anyway, though, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know what's going on with my hair. Instagram gets a lot of real-time product reviews that never see YouTube, so make sure that you are following me on Instagram so you don't miss that. So to moisturize my hair, I'm just starting by spraying it with warm water because as you guys know, I am low porosity. And then I'm going to go in with one of my absolute favorite moisturizers and it's the Cantu Curl Activator Cream. Ironically, I only like two products from Cantu and both of them are holy grails of mine. So I'm just going to scrunch that into my ends to try to maintain some of my definition. And then because I'm being super extra today, <laughs> I'm going to seal that with avocado oil. You guys know I don't seal my hair all the time, but when it does need a little extra moisture and I'm going to be doing a lot of manipulation, I do like to go ahead and seal my hair. Now I'm going to go in with a hair pick. Again, I don't pick my hair very often, but for the puff, I found that if I want to have volume, I really, really, really have to pick at it. But just know, obviously, the more that you pick at your hair, the less definition that you're going to get. For me, when I'm wearing a puff, I'm really not caring about definition. I want volume. And then I'm just going to moisturize the other side of my hair, again, using Cantu and the avocado oil. And then I'm just going to pick that for extra volume. Now I'm going to begin working my hair up into a ponytail. And just a quick note, guys, make sure that you're changing out your hair brushes regularly. They aren't meant to last a lifetime. You're really supposed to change them out about every three months because the bristles do get old and it can cause breakage on your hair. Now I'm gonna go in with my absolute favorite gel to wear for like high puffed styles or um, ponytail styles. It's the Super Look Gel. I actually got it from the Dollar Tree. And you guys have seen me do a puff before if you've been a cousin for a while. I have a super old puff video. I still use a, a shoestring, a shoestring to secure my puffs. And I just kind of crisscross it in the front and then push it up until it's at like the desired height I want. And then when it's where you want it, you just kind of tie it in a knot or a bow and secure it in place. I'm gonna tie that section down just so that it can kind of set while I work on getting some volume in this puff. As you guys can see, as soon as I took my hair down, like it kind of flopped over like Sideshow Bob. So this is where we start to work and get the definition. The reason that my hair falls over or that a lot of people's hair falls over is because it's wet. So what I like to do is go ahead and take my blow dryer on cool heat and blow that dry as I pick it and kind of put it in place. This gives me a lot of volume. But like I said earlier, you will start to see that a lot of my definition starts to fade because, you know, the more definition or the more volume that you get, you're going to lose definition. So you can kind of play it by ear as to how much definition versus volume you want. Sometimes I want a little bit more definition, but most times I'm just going for volume. It's really important that you make sure that you are blow drying the underneath your hair because that's the part that's going to flop over. Now I am just laying my baby hairs, of course, even though you really can't see them because I have so much hair falling over into my face. And this is it. Of course I have layers, so I have like long pieces, but <laughs> my hair was so big I couldn't even fit it in the frame. If you don't like those long pieces showing, right here I'm just showing you that you can kind of pin them up and get them out the way. They don't bother me. I like to keep my front kind of long. It's kind of like a bang, but I just wanted to show you guys that you have that option if you don't want those pieces hanging. 
And these are the final results. I don't wear puffs often, but this is how I get volume when I do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you ain't my cousin. Bye.